Hey there, welcome back. You're watching Impossible Color, and this is another video in the before and after series. So I'm in Adobe Camera Raw, and we're looking at the before of a portrait that was taken along the Washington coast. And this was a pretty complicated shot because the ambient light was changing quite a bit as the sun was going down. And we were trying to balance that out with the, the power and the color of the light that was lighting our subject here from the wicker ball. So let's have a look at the after in Adobe Camera Raw. Not too much change here. Most of the work is done in Photoshop. But we quickly step through. We, everything was kind of brightened up a little bit here. And in the HSL area, we can see that the red or the yellow was taken, a lot of green was taken out of the yellow. And in the saturation area, the oranges were pumped up quite a bit to kind of exaggerate the warmth of that glow and contrast it with the cooler background. So let's have a look in Photoshop and see where the heavy lifting was. So I'm gonna turn on the after and you can see a lot of things disappearing here, some extra glow and magic happening. Let's go through it step by step. So I made a separate group here. You can do this by selecting any layers at any time and just go to new group from layers. I find it's an easy way to organize multiple files into a nice clean little folder. So this is my touch-ups. So what are those touch-ups? Let's go through my preliminary touch-ups. You can see I removed this log that added no value to the image. You can see this little black blob here. There's a rock here that doesn't add anything. These little things in the background really just taking away from our image. Our subject, which is the, the model in this ball. And the biggest change you can see here is you can actually see behind the curtain here. What I did was I cut a hole in the bottom of the wicker ball and I shoved my speed light up inside of it. And when I did the touch ups, I painted all these glows to match where the light is. And I did that layer by layer with white in the middle and working my way out to the yellows and the oranges to give a nice natural gradient of, of color for the light. And then I did an extra glow on the whole thing just to give it some extra pop and blend it all together nicely. And the way the lighting was lit, it kind of lightened out her eyebrows in some areas. So just did a little eyebrow pass there, darkened out some other areas to get some definition to the lips. So there's before and after. Next up is the color changes. There's the color balance. Cooling off the background and the water to give an extra contrast with the light warm areas. A little bit of selective coloring adjustments just to give this even more depth. And then there's a sharpening pass here. You can't really see it that far out, so let's zoom in. Everything sharpens up and basically there's a noise reduction pass and there's a high pass filter on top for sharpening. 
and a little level adjustment to make sure it goes back to the original tones that I liked. Then I created a vignette to give a more intimate feel. And I painted the little magic sparkles or fairies or whatever this is. Magic dust or something around here. This one was a little bit tricky to do. It took a while to paint these and get the right number of them. And it was important to show some depth and then some movement uh, to make it look realistic. And I needed to create a little layer on top of that just to help blend them into the background a little bit so it didn't look like this it was some artificial thing that was slammed on top and that's it for this image let's go back to the before a lot of distracting elements here really taking away from the story and the after a lot more focus, a lot more color depth, and just overall interest. Thanks for checking out Impossible Color. I hope you learned a trick or two here. If you do like what you're watching, please share it with your friends. And you can hit subscribe. You'll be notified when new videos come up. I'm going to be doing a lot more than I have in the past. So please stick around and share your comments.